morning. Hello and welcome to my daily vlog of life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. Cows there waiting at the gate for their feed. Um, first things first this morning, I've got to take some cattle. Um, I wonder if these guys are going to... you going to move out of my way? No? You a bit? I don't think I'm going to get through here, am I? <laughs> if you like this sort of thing, remember to press like and subscribe because it really helps grow our channel. Oh, you are both moving now, aren't you? Thank you. So, to the daff we go. We'll get back to in. Andy's just pulling up. He's going to give me a hand to get these cattle on. That's a straw bowler there for those that... Uh, and new to the video, it's it's quite prominent in most of them. <laughs> Feel it's crucial to let people know, or people maybe outside of farming know that we do stuff every day to look after these cattle. So that's why the straw blower goes in nearly every video, just to show that we're looking after the cattle. Because I, I think people don't really think about it and take note of it. So yeah, hopefully this shows people. Anyway, I've just got loaded up, so we'll get off and back to the farm. Big roundabout. Take him, come back. All right, I'm back in the yard now. Andy's just getting the hedge cutter on. That's going to be his job for the next few days, probably. Andy's got the hedge cutter on. All greased up. The pain of fitting the joystick onto the seat. I'll show you that maybe another day. Um, we're going to get some cattle vaccinated um, now. I think we've got 20 or so to do. Move some cattle around in different places, maybe fetch some in from the grass. I know we seem to be fetching some in, taking some out, in, out, in, out, shake it all about. But um, yeah, it's just the way it is. Bain fitting it under. So he's got the... Uh, Edge cutter all pulled out, just giving it a check over. I think he's greased it already, but just making sure it runs tidy. Doing some serious struggling with these grease cartridges. It's these JCB grease cartridges that we have trouble with. In this, I think these these lips here just aren't quite big enough to hold it. Vaccinated yeah. load, they're running back into their pen now. Some of these big fellas out now are ready to go. They are a bit big though. Right, we've got a load of seed corn turned up. I think it's barley. So we'll jump on the nine meter. Not that I like using this one. And uh, get it off. On a daff, Pikett Brothers. First. Here we have it, KWS TARDIS is what we're... Uh, Gonna be putting in this year. We're on this one before. Um, what do you think of it? If you have grown it, let me know in the comments uh, what you thought about it. Plus, this is what we're gonna be putting in this year. Business. So I've had my dinner now. Um, thinking about trying to get the digger running. I think it was running low on oil, so I need to pop some of that in there and cross fingers that it works properly because it didn't work brilliant last time I used it. Yeah, the Cabelco Beast does leak a bit of oil. Uh, it's been sat there a long time. Um, and I think it's just, I've not filled it up in a long time, so it needs a top up. So we'll climb up the steps. They're, never, they're not easy to fill up with oil, these, so you have to take one of these panels off and, uh, and go from there. So I'll tell you what, that's heavy, that. One handed. Now, I can't remember 100% which one it is, but I'm guessing it's that one, because that looks like it's a pump or something. So we'll take that one off, and then I think we put the oil in there. That's it, and yeah, she looks fairly low, so we better spend some money and put some oil in there. Well, I think it'll take this stuff and more from Tony Casagrandes. I always put him in video, I don't know why. He don't pay me, he don't give me a discount, he don't do nothing like that, but I always, I don't know, they've always been there, aren't they? They've always looked after us. Um, so, and he's a good laugh. So, if you need any hydraulic stuff, head over to Tony Crassagrandes. Tell him I sent you. So, I'm having to walk back every time to the shed and fetch another one. But I don't drive it down here because 
I said when I pulled into the shed, it, you could tell it was running out of oil. Not risking it. She's good and she's been reliable, so we'd like to keep it that way. I think there's a big Cabelco about to come round the roundabout now. Yeah, beast. Right, I'm happy. I can't see the uh, minimum sensor anymore. We've got about half a tank in. We don't want to fill it too much because we've got the rams um, extended there and the top one is extended a little bit as well. So it needs some room to um, dump oil into there. Last thing we want to do is overfill it. So I think that's where I want to be. Right, job done. Everything back together. Let's see if this works because isolator wasn't switched off. Oh, good sign. Oh, honestly, what a honey. So we'll just leave that running while I take my tools back. So we can get warmed up a bit. Oh, this is turning into some mammoth task, getting this digger somewhere. So I'm going to have to go and pick the Bailey trailer up. It's got the broken boards, but I think we'll get the digger on. I think we'll be all right because it's on tracks. So we'll be able to... to um, hopefully straddle those because they've not been sorted yet i don't know what's happening if anybody does know anybody at bailey please let them know that um we got some holes in trailer that's not been sorted um and yeah i need to take the wedge off the back so all in all this is um yeah turning into a bit more of a, a longer job than expected yeah so that's the floor it's all rotted in between the boards is rotten um, but we need to take this off which is bolted down with some 17mm nuts which are not the easiest to get to if on my memory um, yeah if from my recall of memory of this right so we've got it all off uh, the, the wedge so we can now have a nice ramp to be able to drive up with the digger so we are now on the boost She's old and battered, but she's very, very, very reliable. Well, she's on. We're going to ratchet it down in a second, but I just want to wash the uh, wash the windows on it first, so we'll, we'll put them on afterwards. And here we are. Andy, I've just seen him. Down there. Um, and I'm just going to clean this ditch out to the right-hand side here. Because if you remember when I was spraying in this area here, it gets really wet. Now, whether that's they redug this across somewhere about here to put um, a replacement sewer in, because the one that was in had, um, had broken and it was just leaking straight into the river. Well, Yorkshire Water sorted that bit. Um, they're not sorted the one at the farm, well, they've sorted this one. And we don't know if it's knackered the drains up or whether it's just because the ditch hasn't been cleaned out, but it's holding water here where. It's not normally held as much as what it what it is. So we'll clear that ditch out and that should then solve the issue. Look at this. That squirrel. Yeah. Squirrel, <laughs> it's running in open ground. Really, 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 really open ground. I don't know if it's been feeding it gardens and then deciding to make its way back or what, but yeah. Right, so everything's off, and um, we can get the digger off, but we need to um, put the hydraulics into constant pumping, then go and work the lever at the back of the trailer. If I was to have a low loader again, I would just have the pull down ones with springs on, because this isn't, like, this isn't saving me any time. So I have to put it into constant pumping, leave tractor running, get out, lower them at the back, and then come back up here to then turn the tractor off. Whereas springs, you just undo a clip, pull it down, jobs are good at. Um, yeah, if, if like, if they worked by just on the lever and you could just lever the ramps down and lever them back up, happy days, but you've got to use, must be like some kind of safety thing. You've got to be at the ramps to be able to use the ramps or something. So um, yeah, we have have springs. And cause it's John Deere and screen's still thinking, I've had to come out, change it into brown and hope that that's set in the, screen to constant pumping luckily it is 
but I had it in green initially and that's not set to that so thanks John Deere fantastic so I'll come to the back we use that lever one way or the other there we go and then these will start to lower then we can get the beast off Cabelco beast back to the cab Oh. Switch it off, remove key, jobs are good. Un. And now I should be able to fetch it off. Uh, I should have brought my tripod and then I could have filmed this bit, but anyway, we're not gonna. Next, the next thing you see will be off on the floor. Right, I've got past the tipping point, so that's the easy bit. Jobs are good and we're down. We wouldn't normally run on grass when it's this wet, but like I said, this is getting ploughed up and um, had a new seed put in. But as you can see there, this area of the field is very wet. The ditch is um, it's running a bit higher than the field, so you can take it down. With every bucket I'm taking, the water's just flowing away it wasn't before uh, you see it's all dark earth soil so just what's sedimented in the bottom of the uh, ditch over the years so we'll uh, we'll keep keep digging on here and uh, we'll get it down okay running now there is a pipe under here we might have to lift it up and bring it back down I feel like this next dig is gonna unleash the water Maybe the, next, maybe the one after. Yeah, it's going now. It's wet muck anyway. Maybe that's why I should have the window shut. <laughs> oh, lovely. Just love my job. Took my t-shirt off and uh, Wiped in the back of my t-shirt. <laughs> Clean again. And a lot of water coming in this section as well. It's all nicely running. Unbelievable the amount of rubbish that's coming out. Are they some like kid shoes or something? Look at it's just full of crisp packets and there's some mucky people about. So as I'm getting further up the ditch, there's a lot less needs cleaning out, so just more of a tidy in the vegetation and the bits of hedge that have uh, fallen into the into the bottom. Looks like the water bubbles up here. Well, it is off now. I don't know if you can see that. Really running. So maybe it'll expose what uh, what actually brings all this water in. So while I'm waiting for that to run down a bit, we'll, um, I'll just stretch my legs because I feel like I've been in that thing for ever. Um, so I made a bit of a mess down there. We'll just have to pull that out, and then Andy, when it dries, will plow it in. Um, you know, just in here. It had to be quite a fertile ground there. Very black soil, it's all sediment that's built up. I found it, I found it. So this here that I'm stood on, I am guessing is a concrete pipe that must um, must fetch the water from the houses or somewhere further up, underground to here and then takes it on from there. So there's absolutely no wonder why it's not been flowing right when the ditch has been below the pipe that feeds it in. Somewhere up, upstream, there will be a blockage. Uh, it looks like I need to take a bit more out down there, but that's where they went across with the um, sewer, so I didn't want to go too deep, but it looks like I need to need to take it down. Hopefully you can see it a bit more clearer now. So this bit here is just where it's um, got snapped off or something at some point, and then it goes back to the full round. That's where the water comes in. Thank you. 
So down here it was very clay based and it's where they went through last year with the new bit of sewerage. I don't know if you can sit you can tell changing grass from there to there, that's what we reseeded. So it went all the way through here. So they've reformed the ditch for us, but they've reformed it too high, so we need to take that down. Then all this water that's backed up will just flow back into the river. Right, it's off now. Finding its way down to the river, out to the sea. It's quite fun watching it uh, make its way down here. It looks a bit rough and that, the, the way that I've dug it out, I ain't got a ditching bucket, but this stuff will soon sort it. Six months time, you'll not know the digger's been here. So I've just been taking some willows back. They're going over the field. Willows really do um, come back, they'll actually self-set, so if we leave that, they'll grow again out of them twigs. They're a bit of a pain to be honest, but um, yeah, they're a fast-growing species. So it's being held up by another little pipe that's here. So we might have to just dig this out and then um, dig under it and put it back in. Fill it back over the top. But it is running down to the river. Which is what we want to see. So today's mixed mention is Cabelco mention and it is, I'll put this round, happy third birthday to Maggie Harrison and that's from your sisters Peyton and Hayley, your mum and dad, grandpa, uh, granddad, all, all the family basically, I wish you a happy birthday. So that's six and a half thousand, well over six and a half thousand pound raised for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Anybody else wants to get their name in the video on the mixer or on the digger or whatever it happens to be that day, links in the description below, business. Well, we've been digging with shovels and we've got the pipe back in and we're just going to pull these back into the side and fill it in. So we've got the pipe in now, buried, a bit of stuff over the top of it and we've even got the swans in the background, look. And it started raining and I've not got my coat. Fantastic. And he's back after a minor breakdown. He's just trimming all the hedges. We might even get the plough going tomorrow. But I'm thinking right now, um, I'm going to finish the video here. If you've liked it, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you've not already, and um, me, Andy, Connor, my dad, we'll see you in tomorrow's episode where hopefully, fingers crossed, we get the plough on um, down here and we can get this reseeded. Um, then it's job ticked off. It can produce better grassland, uh, more environmentally friendly grassland because it'll have the clover in it, so it'll be nitrogen fixing, we'll be, um, more carbon neutral with this grassland here. Uh, it'll have multi-species in it, so it won't just be like rye grass, it's got different species going into it, um, just to make our silage. And then the neighbor next door puts his cattle on here um, over the winter. So yeah, should it's a good mix for both of those. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Thank you very much for watching so long a video today about me digging ditches and I can't even remember what else we did, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, let us know in the comments if you did. Right, see you later guys, bye. We're back in the yard anyway. Andy's greasing this up so it's ready for next time and he wants to use it. Are you using it tomorrow? Oh, there you go then, for tomorrow.